Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we were able to look at uh, creation of the blog page, uh, the blog uh, workflow, uh, the blog creation of our blog post, uh, the deletion and the amending or editing of a blog post, and we were able also to add some permissions and restrictions to who can edit uh, and uh, delete blog posts. And uh, in this uh, video, we are going to look at uh, management of uh, static files. So static files uh, would refer to them as uh, the JavaScript files, uh, the cascading style sheets, the CSS files, and also the, uh, by extension, uh, the images. So uh, Django recommends that you create a static folder in your app, in your uh, application, or in your or in the root folder, and uh, configure the settings.py file. And uh, our first step will be making sure that we have these static files, uh, the static files configuration set up in our installed apps. And I'm just going to go into the code or application. And uh, as you can see, we have these static files under the installed apps. And uh, you can check it inside the Django configuration. And uh, so the, ne the next step will be uh, referring, creating a static uh, folder reference in our uh, root folder so that we can uh, actually, I think by default, it usually comes with this. The static, uh, this is a static URL. And uh, we will also add the static uh, file DIRS uh, that simply tells our uh, Django where to find the static files. And in our case, we are going to create one static folder uh, and we will call it static. So we have this because it detects that uh, this folder is not, is not there. And uh, we are going to create it in our root folder. So we'll call it static. You can see the warning has disappeared. And then inside this static, we are going to create uh, three uh, child folders or subfolders. We will have one for, hand for uh, handling the CSS static files, and we'll have another one for the JavaScript files. And we'll have a third one for uh, images and I'll just call it uh, IMG. So uh, if you go to, uh, let me just close all the other files. Uh, if you go to the base.html file, you'll notice that uh, we are using, we are importing the these uh, the bootstrap CSS which we are using in our in our local folder and you also have these other files that we are using for the javascript so i'm just going to copy this uh, cascading style sheet link and then i'm going to open it and uh just i'm going to uh, let me just save it I'm going to save it in the desktop. And I'll do the same for the other two, two files or two references. We have one for the Popa uh, JavaScript, Popa JS. I'm also going to save it. Uh, but you can actually you can equally download them from from the uh, these references like this cdn dot jn deliver js deliver and then we have the other one which is the uh, bootstrap minified uh, javascript file so i'm also going to save it yeah so we have these three files and I'm going to copy them inside the, the static folder. 
uh, as a start. So I'm just going to identify them, whatever they are. And we have the desk inside the desktop folder. We have this cascading style sheet. You can just do a drag and drop. And then I'll also copy the two minified JavaScript files into the I don't know why it's not copying, probably it's restricted. Let me just do a copy. Oh, there was a notification. So I'll just copy the minified JavaScript file into the JS folder. Okay, it's taking some time. Let me just repeat that. So I'll copy the bootstrap folder here. And we have it here. And then I think there's one file that it's going to ask for, which is a income up file, but we're going to see. Let's just proceed. So we have these two files. Uh, instead of referring to the to the CDN server or the content delivery network server in which they are stored in, in this case it is JS Deliver, so we can now load them from uh, locally from this static folder. And uh, the other thing is that uh, you may want to have custom uh, custom customized uh, uh, CSS and JavaScript, so you may need to. Uh, you'll have to create this folder and you know create these uh, style sheets too in order to style our pages however we please or we wish. So the other thing that we are going to do, we are going to add the absolute location of the uh, CSS, uh, this uh, not the static file, sorry. And we are just going to add it immediately after this. And we will call it static. Uh, root, which will refer to the same static folder. And uh, so this is the absolute location of the uh, those files, uh, the files that we are going to, uh, there's a command we are going to use for collecting stat uh, static, and we need to have these defined, otherwise if we do not, then it will not uh, have a place to point to. Actually, it will give us a warning. And uh, the other thing we'll look for is the, since we are using a local our local file system, uh, maybe we can define these static files storage. Uh, to, this is a storage engine uh, to use uh, when you're collecting static files. Uh, and this is now in our the local uh, environment. So this, I'm going to refer it to the Django documentation. I'm going to share the link to the description. Uh, here we have the static root, and then when you have defined the static root, you can actually uh, run this command. So actually, I think by default, since we are using a local environment, the static file storage is already defined. So I'm just going to comment this out. And uh, the next step is I'm going to run the command for collecting the static files as stated here in the Django uh, documentation once we have defined our static root. So I'm just going to copy this. Uh, remember we are running our commands inside a Docker container. So we will use Docker Compose as we have been using before. Then we'll add an exec and the container name. And then you can paste our command. So let's see. Yeah, so so we seem not to be having our website running. Don't know why. So let's let's uh, restart. 
or stop the containers. Then you can start on containers in detached mode. Let me confirm that the container is actually running. Yeah. So now we'll, we can run the command inside the collect static command inside our container. Yeah, so we have an error. It is saying that the static files DIR setting should not contain the static root setting. So this static root setting uh, points to yeah, I need to change this. It cannot, it's they are both referring to the same directory, so I'll just change it to static files, uh, which is I think normally used. Uh, it's named these as a standard practice. So you'll notice that there's a folder that is going to be created that will be called the static files. So you notice that there's a folder that wasn't there. It's, it has been created and it's called the static files. So we are just waiting to see the, there's an output that we are gonna get here. Yeah. So it has taken some seconds and it, uh, the output here shows that it has copied uh, 1,386 uh, files into the static files directory. So if we collapse this directory, you can see we have the admin folder we have ck editor that handles the uh, the ck editor uh, static files and then we have our css and javascript files that we imported in there uh, in initially in the static folder so whenever you maybe create additional files here you can run the pipe uh, manage.py collect static and it will update the necessary files if the files, let's say if I try to run it a second time, it will check all the files and realize that yeah, it, it already has all the files. And uh, it will ask whether we want to overwrite these files. So in this case, I'll just say no, because I'm not, uh, I do not have any additions or any updates in the static folder. So now the final step will be trying to uh, add work with the static, uh, the static files. So in order to load our static files, we need to we need to work with the with the templates. We need to add a command, a certain command in the template. I'm going to refer to it. Yeah, so in the Django static documentation, we have this in our templates. We need to add uh, this load static. And uh, Let's go into our code. And I believe you should load it on top of the HTML uh, state. Yeah, so we're just going to on top of this file in the base template because we will load our static files in all the pages which inherit the base.html. So we are going to add load, uh, load static, which is uh, this that we have just copied it from the uh, Django documentation. So inside our href link, we are going to replace these with uh, a URL. Or we can we'll add static inside the static. We have the this is the uh, CSS. We can call it the boot. CSS. And just remember that it is in the CSS uh, folder. So we are we have added the folder name which is CSS and the bootstrap dot mean dot CSS. Uh, we shall do the same for these others. So I'll just copy this. So whenever you load any static files, you need to make reference to that. So for this one, it was popper.mean.js. 
So I'll replace these with uh, that uh, JS. The other one is bootstrap. So we just need to copy this. Bootstrap. Yeah, I'm not sure if the integrity works with local files or if it changes, uh, but yeah, that is beyond our scope. So we're just going to try and see whether our website will still load. As you notice that it can load. And if we go to the view page source, now we see that our file is being accessed from the static.css bootstrap. And for the JavaScript, this is what we have. And if you try to open it further, you can see the path for the file, which is the static folder that uh, we created. So we have been able to configure the static files for our page, uh, for our, our website. On the next, uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to see how we can set up the, configure the static files to, for ready for production, uh, for the production environment or ready for deployment. So if you like my tutorial, uh, kindly you can like the video. Uh, you can also share the video with your colleagues and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you can click on the uh, bell icon uh, so that whenever I upload any new content, you can be able to to get a notification. Thank you for watching.